What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're doing well today. Got a review for you. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, today we're taking a look at a very unique model. Um, I didn't realize this until I started checking out the specs after it landed. So you probably will see the unboxing first, but this is actually a model from Get Good Screw, which I think more people are going to be familiar with than they are with the fact that this is being run under the brand Gen X. I think that's right, but this is the Primark. And boy, oh boy, do we have a very unique model here. So First things first, the blade is made from Vanex. You have all titanium with Timascus all throughout. You have an external steel stop pin, um, steel lock bar interface here. It comes with its own unique tool for the pivot, which was really interesting. When I got it, the pivot was loose. Um, and since I adjusted it and put it back together, it, it seems like it's centered and it's locked up a little bit more solid. You have a compound ground blade with a harpoon and a swedge. Hollow ground here in the middle. And we're going to jump back to this in just a second. And then we have a full flat ground out here on the tip. You got a floating backspacer on this one. Very, very cool how they did that. It's very unique. And then you have a secondary backspacer here. So it's definitely very integral in the way that it's done. Um, but I am not going to lie, the price really did throw me on this one. Thumb stud action, very smooth in the pivot. I'm not quite sure what bearings it's riding on because I can't disassemble it. And I really can't see in there because of the tight, tight tolerances. Vanex is a very premium steel for sure. And I'm able to get a full four finger grip on this one. When I did cut with it, I did notice, I don't know if it's been cut with, but I did notice it didn't want to grip right away. And then as I started to look closer at it, I did notice something that we'll circle back to in a second. But going through the cardboard, that recurve does trap the material very nicely. It felt very, very slicey going through the material with the hollow grind. And it's not a super thick blade stock. And then out on the tip, no issues with the secondary and primary tips on this one being that it is a Tonto. It did handle the tabletop cutting very well now i do like the thumb studs on here but they are in the cutting path a little bit and one thing that i do want to point out here is this is not even though it's polished to look like a sharpened edge it's not a sharpened edge until way out here so you're only getting about that much of the recurve for cutting. I didn't realize it when I was cutting on that paper, so it's my fault. Uh, but this is completely flat until right about here. I'm starting to feel where it's picking up on some of the sharpness. And it may be a little bit more beneficial to bring a knife out here to kind of show you where it stops. It actually stops way up here. Way up here. So let me mark it again. So right here forward, so this is all that you have for the sharpened edge. Even though this is polished, all of this is completely flat. So I did want to point that out to you guys. Good access to the lock bar. And it is, um, ver it's closer to being a guillotine than not. It uh, it definitely drops down quickly. I think that might be the other reason. I mean, for me, I would just let this notch catch the thumb and then move my hand out of the way and shake it, and it just falls shut, guys, from that point forward. The thumb studs, I feel like they could have moved that up a little bit. You got plenty of space here. Not quite sure. That would be my feedback is to move that back, and I would probably say move that plunge grind all the way back and get this completely sharpened as opposed to it not being sharpened. And then when people are disengaging, I would just leave this piece here because that really does stop the blade from falling shut. Um, you know, I, I just feel like if it missed here and it hit there, it still kind of digs into the fingernail because this part here has a little sharpness to it. It's not, you know, obviously as sharp as the knife. As I mentioned, it came favoring the show side. I went ahead and played with the tool a little bit and got it back centered. As you can see here, the way that they did that backspacer, you definitely want it to be completely centered. Um, there's a little hint of play in there, but I didn't want to keep messing with it because it feels pretty tight. So I don't want to mess with it anymore. I'm just going to leave it as is. It's very minimal, like you got a wrench on it to feel it. And even then, it's, it's almost like it's 
really not there, even though you can feel it roll on the ball when you first. So like when I first do it, you can feel it roll on the ball. And then after that, it's it's like it's gone. Now, I can't do a spine whack because it's not mine. So I don't know if that's an issue or not. Um, also, this pocket clip, I don't like this pocket clip. It doesn't work good at all. Um, the way you have to do this, you have to remember to grab it, pinch it, and slide it in. And then when you do that, we'll use this here to demonstrate for you guys. Uh, when you do it that way, you got to make sure that you've put it in. And then the retention on it is not very strong. Like I like a mill titanium pocket clip a little bit better than I do this one only because of the fact that it is a heavy knife. And if you're moving around with this in your pocket, I fear it's going to slide out. Now it didn't on me, but I also am not carrying it like it's my own knife. So that is a caveat that I would say to keep in mind with this one is that that's not the case. But I just don't like that because you can't just take it and put it in the pocket. You got to remember to have the finger way out on the tip and you're grabbing very little of the knife to be able to pinch and put that in the pocket so i'm just not a fan of that uh i think it's cool ingenuity wise and everything but just really not for me good jumping on the back of the handle here very comfortable ergonomically which i was very happy to see because i worried about these sharp edges but they're very well chamfered and very comfortable to handle Let's do some size comparisons and then we will weigh the knife and then we'll give a, a final score. All right, guys, we have the Benchmade Bug Out and the Spyderco Manix 2 Lightweight out here. And as you can see, it's very comparable to the Manix 2 Lightweight and just slightly longer than the Benchmade Bug Out. Let's go ahead and bring out a couple more for additional comparisons. All right, so I brought out the CJRB Echo, which is kind of similar in size to the Bug Out that we just had that was out here. And then we brought the Kunwu Padre out, which I think is a very comparable size to the Primark. Let's go ahead and grab the scale and check the weight on this one. I'm very curious about that. It feels pretty heavy. All right, got the scale out. It is cutting on. Uh, this definitely feels like a six ounce knife um to me yes almost seven almost seven ounces now i don't know how much the timascus is going to add to that um but the backspacers the size of the blade the timascus um the unique pivot system on here and everything doesn't surprise me at all that it's actually closer to seven because i did feel like this is a pretty weighty knife and again that goes back to the thing that i mentioned about that pocket clip not being able to really grab onto it to keep it from potentially popping up out of the pocket all right let's go ahead and wrap this one up all right guys if you're not familiar i grade on a scale of one to ten ten being the best one being the worst and seven is the top for budget knife so just a little background on that everything that goes into it is price performance materials being offered ergos weight all of that goes into account for that having said that on this one here i am there's a lot that i like here and there's a lot that's holding me back so i'm trying to keep my personal preferences for aesthetics out of this one and i think i'm just going to go six two um, i know that's a little low i think part of that is the weight the price point i really don't like the way that they did the edge of the blade here and i really just do not like the pocket clip the things that I do like on here, I love the thumb studs, just need them to move it back a little bit. I don't mind the unique pivot system and, and the fact that they include the tool with it, but if something were to happen to that tool, you would have to reach out and buy another one or ask them for another one. Uh, I just prefer that they use torque bits. In that instance, I think it would look better. Now, what I do like, I like the inlays, all of the detailed work. I love the Vanek steel. Um, I actually kind of like the exposed steel lock bar interface. Uh, I think that's pretty cool looking. It's different. You don't see it a ton. Most lock bar inlays or interfaces are kind of hidden on the inside of the lock bar. So I do kind of like that, that aesthetic. The Timascus and Timascus inlays are very well done. And I do like those a lot. Good access to the lock bar. Um, you know, this one's been in the past around, so I'm not going to hold... The, uh, the centering when I got it being off because I was able to get it centered and honestly yeah it still just had that little bit of rolling on there when you really wrench on it like when you just grab it to, to feel it normal like a medium side to side you don't feel that if you start to wrench on it you can kind of feel it rolling around on the bearings 
I like the detailed work here with the backspacers and the floating backspacer. Um, it's just a really cool piece with a lot of stuff going on with it. I'm not big on recurves either. I don't mind the compound ground uh, blade. I would have just preferred belly all throughout, kind of like what you see on the compadre. So those are just some of the things that I took into account with that score. I know it's a little low, but it's a very expensive knife to have that many issues for me with it. So hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, what do you think of the Primark? I think some of you guys out there that are looking for something a little bit more unique, a little different, probably gonna like this a little bit more than I did personally um, it was very surprisingly comfortable while cutting with it as well but that that's it um, if you're not into this one I totally get it thanks for watching to this point on your way out if you wouldn't mind hit that like button links are below for you to use at your leisure it does help the channel when you do a special thank you to my channel members you guys are amazing I appreciate all of that extra support that you guys provide I'm out of here I hope you have a fantastic week catch you next time peace